wrong it seems that we are like live on youtube amazing Ready? morning carol morning mary good morning morning good morning everyone good morning good to see you carol again good to see you again let me let me find i want to find the uh, the program mary do you have the program yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you right away. Yeah. No, okay. You have it? That's the one. That's the one. Get everything Tom, Tom will introduce you. Uh, you will speak after our president. Why? Why? Are you waiting for him to join? Are you waiting for him to join? Okay. And we will start in circa 10 minutes. Are you having are you having sound issues, Mary? Estas, can you talk That's about a little muffled? Am I muffled, um, Mayor? Can yeah, you? Yeah, actually, you do sound not so crisp. Okay, how about how about now? Still Are on? you? Using any sort of uh, microphone, exterior microphone? Uh, no. Can I? Um, shall I disconnect and connect again, Mail? I don't think that's that's the case. Um, let me let me try to do so because I'll 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 put I'll put something else. It, but but it was better before, no, Neil? It sounds. It sounds. It sounds okay. Just a, a slight muffled sound, but I can hear it all right. Okay. You, but you might want to try if you want to improve it. Try something. Okay. Mail. So I would uh, try to. I would leave and re-enter. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Try that. Thank you. So just. Um... Oh, there's Alex. Hey, Alex. Guys, just so everyone is aware, we are live on YouTube already. Already, okay. And you're going to be recording it, correct? Yeah, moment. It or... sounds okay, just a, a slight muffled okay, sound. Everything's but working. I can hear it already. Okay. Oh, you might want to try. How do I sound? Do I sound okay? I'm yes. clear. Okay, good. You sound good, good. I, don't, I don't know what else I could do. No, no, you're great. Mayor, is, is this, and, and Mary, is this slightly better? Yeah, I, I think so. Thank Maybe you. I'm getting used to used to it, but it, it sounds Very okay. Much. Mayor, can you hear me? I can hear you. Just try maybe um, clicking on the you know, the arrow next to the mute. Yes. Go into the settings. Yes. And see. Um, yeah. If you can. Just yeah. uh, maybe raise the volume or. Good. I will raise the volume. No problem. Press back on noise. Okay. How about that? So I think it's a little okay. bit. Okay, good. Thank you very much. I I, I do not dare uh, testing it for uh, no further. So Mayor, you'll mute everybody when uh, except for the speaker. Yeah, I know. Right. So um, 
can view the person talking. So everyone else will be uh, miniaturized. Uh, and whoever doesn't need his video on, it's preferably, you know, it's preferable to, to keep it off. And mute it, yeah. And mute it, yes. Right. Shalom, Okay. Okay. Want my cam? Want my uh, my video off as well? No, no. You should hang around. Okay. So we're trying um, trying to do one interpreter at a time, but the other one often help the, helps one. If if the if the sound gets a little glitchy, one can help the other. Okay. Great. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Morning, Doug. Good morning, Tom, and everybody on this Zoom. Good morning. Morning. The word. President Robin. No, here he is. Ah. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all. Good evening. Hi, Ron. Hello, Hello there. People are beginning to tell me that they're seeing us very well on uh, YouTube. So it is evidently working. Okay. How many people are there now, Mayor? <clears throat> Last time I checked, two. But <laughs> let me see. I can't have both on because then I'll have oh, reverb okay. and... Not Institute. 14. Oh, okay. Lovely. So, Mayor, you'll remind everybody about the microphone and all that. We're still waiting for Abe. Yes, we are. I think he's the only one. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Ruthie. Hi, Tom. Ma shalom cha. Hey, Achuz. Toda. Shalom, Shaul. Welcome. And Wendy. Yeah. Shalom, Shalom, Asaf. Shalom, Nekulam. 
שלום, שאול. שלום, שלום. Tom, you want to check with uh, Abe to see that he yeah. has problems connecting? Um, yeah. We're going to have to start. I'll probably, he's on later, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to start? I Or think we're, we're going to have to start, right? Great, okay, right on schedule. So everyone who's not a speaker, please turn off your uh, video and uh, mute your microphone, please. Thank you, everybody. Good evening, Erev Tov, Masal Kher to all our friends in Israel and the Middle East. Good morning, buenos dias to all our guests in San Diego and the U.S. And welcome to the inauguration ceremony of the joint University of Haifa, University of California, San Diego, Marine Archaeology Research Station in Akko, Israel. My name is Tom Levy, and I'm the co-director of the Scripps Center of Marine Archaeology here at the University of California, San Diego. I'd like to invite Professor Asaf Yusur Landau to the podium, the virtual podium. Asaf is the head of the Reconati Institute of Maritime Studies and a professor of Mediterranean Archaeology in the Department of Maritime Civilizations at the Charney School of Marine Sciences and the Faculty of Humanities at the University of Haifa. A decade ago, he founded the Laboratory for Coastal Archaeology and Underwater Survey at the University of Haifa, aimed at a unified approach to investigating ancient coastal communities on land and underwater. Bringing the divide between underwater and land archaeology in Israel, bridging it, His research interests include the study of mobility, migration, ancient economy, and human adaptation in the Mediterranean during the Bronze and Iron Ages, especially the study of the Philistines, Canaanites, and Phoenicians. Currently, he is co-director of the excavations of the Canaanite Palace at Tel Kabri and of the underwater excavations at Tel Dor and Habonim. Asaf, please. Thank you very much, Tom. I'd like to welcome our speakers today, Professor Ron Robin, President, University of Haifa, Professor Carol Padden, Dean, Social Sciences, and Professor Doug Bartlett, Deputy Director for Research Scripts, UC San Diego, Mr. Abraham Sofer, George P. Schultz, Senior Fellow in Foreign Policy and National Security Affairs Emeritus, and board member of the Correct Foundation, of course, Professor Tom Levy, all distinguished guests and colleagues. Welcome to the inauguration ceremony of the Joint University of Haifa, University of California, San Diego, Maritime Station at ACO. This is a culmination of a most fruitful collaboration in the field of underwater and coastal archeology span between the Reconati Institute, University of Haifa, and the Scripps Center for Maritime Archeology, span University of California, San Diego. Four years ago, Tom Levy and I have decided to combine the decades of experience of the Reconati Institute in underwater archaeology with the world-leading oceanography conducted in scripts to create a research collaboration. It aims to address the fundamental questions of human adaptation to coastal conditions, of human reaction to climate change in past societies in the coast of the Carmel in Israel, one of the only places in the world in which there is an uninterrupted sequence of more than 10,000 years of human habitation. As you will see in the clip showing our activity, we were very active in the last few years, conducting a joint field school, conducting geophysical surveys, and making exciting discoveries, such as the brand new Hellenistic port of Dor, an 8,000 year old submerged Neolithic settlement at Habonim, 
and even evidence from an 11,000 year old tsunami that impacted the earliest archeological or agricultural villages in the coast of the Carmel. Our collaboration was benefited by the strong support of our university and a year ago was awarded a substantial grant from the Kuwait Foundation. The strengthening of the maritime infrastructure of our institute and the equipment bought for this collaboration will of course be used to all coastal and underwater projects of the Reconat Institute, thus enabling stronger research. The success of this endeavor, its interdisciplinary research and scientific output is a group effort. Here at the University of Haifa, our collaboration thrived also because of the support of President Robin, Vice President of Research, Professor Yitzhaki, Director of Research Authority, Tamir Frank, former and present deans of the humanities, Professor Elroy Enlev, head of the School of Maritime Sciences, Professor Berman Frank, and the former and present chairs of the Department of Maritime Civilization, Dr. Gambash and Professor Shaka Gross. I'm grateful to them all. Finally, I wish to extend special thanks to our outstanding professional staff at the Rekanati Institute. I would like now to introduce my research partner and my dear friend, Professor Tom Levy. Tom Levy is a distinguished professor and holds the Norman, Norma Kershaw Chair in Archaeology of Ancient Israel and Neighboring Lands at the University of California, San Diego. He is the member of the Department of Anthropology and co-director of the Scripps Center for Marine Archaeology, SCMA, and director of the Center for Cyber Archaeology at the Qualcomm Institute. In helping to launch SCMA, Levy has emphasized three approaches in his, three, in his fieldwork in Israel and Greece to explore climate, environmental, and social change in the Eastern Mediterranean. These are the three, shallow marine geophysics, sediment core analysis, and underwater excavation. Elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, Levy is widely published Levantine field archaeology with interest in the role of technology especially early mining and metallurgy, on the evolution of societies, especially in the Eastern Mediterranean. Most recently, Levy's lab group focuses on paleo-environmental change during the Neolithic period of the coast of the Carmelo with the University of Haifa and Bronze Age Methony in Greece with the University of Petrance. Professor Levy, the podium is yours. Thank you so much, Asaf. Thank you everyone for joining the exciting opening via YouTube live of the University of Haifa, University of California, San Diego Marine Archaeology Research Station in Akko. Warm thanks to the Coret Foundation for supporting our UC San Diego University of Haifa collaboration that is part of the Coret Foundation's US-Israel bridge building program. Ever since 2017, when Asaf came to UC San Diego for a sabbatical, we started to focus on building a relationship around marine archaeology between our universities. And now it is a reality. In many respects, like Israel, this is the story of UC San Diego. Our university is only 61 years old, and we have become leaders in so many fields. You see San Diego's openness to what we may call transdisciplinary or team research has led to the blossoming of so many creative research centers and institutes on our campus. Personally, I've been privileged to be a part of the Qualcomm Institute, Cal IT2, a center of excellence for information technology and telecommunications that has enabled us to develop digital tools for the collection of cultural heritage data, its conservation, analyses, and dissemination through peer-reviewed publications, the internet, and personal and large-scale 3D visualization platforms. Five years ago, I was asked to co-direct the Scripps Center of Marine Archaeology, or SCMA, with Professor John Hildebrand of the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. It has been an honor working with the Scripps researchers and staff such as John, 
Professor Dick Norris of the Geosciences Research Division, Christian McDonald, Diving Safety Officer, and so many others. Bringing the SIO teams together with our Levantine Archaeology graduate students, postdoc, and staff has helped jumpstart SCMA by partnering with our international colleagues, such as the Reconati Institute, with their pioneering tradition in the development of underwater archaeology. We are joining the international community of excellence in the exploration and research of submerged cultural heritage around the world. Using the metaphor of the marine, of the maritime silk roads as seen behind me, our vision is to examine climate, environmental and cultural change in the connected ancient world, stretching from the Mediterranean world to India and China. My colleague, Professor Isabel Rivera Callazo, is building a coastal research program in Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, and beyond in the New World. The new Joint Marine Archaeology Field Station in Aco will enable our University of Haifa and UC San Diego colleagues to focus on cutting edge marine archaeology research in the most efficient way. It is my hope that our Israeli colleagues will join us as we reach out along the maritime silk roads working in other countries together in the Mediterranean Sea and beyond. Finally, we have some really great news from Scenic, the nonprofit that connects California to the world, advancing education and research statewide by providing the world-class network essential for innovation, collaboration, and economic growth. Scenic operates the California Research and Education Network, CalRIM, a high capacity network designed to meet the unique requirements of over 20 million users, including the vast majority of K to 20 students together with educators, researchers and individuals at other public serving institutions. Lewis Fox, the president and CEO of Scenic notified us last week that the Scripps Center of Marine Archaeology at UC San Diego and the Leon Reconati Institute for Maritime Studies at the University of Haifa are being awarded the 2021 Scenic Innovations in Networking Award for research applications. And over 50 individuals from our UC San Diego and Haifa teams are being recognized. Thank you again for being here today to celebrate this important event. Back to you, Asaf. Thank you so much, Tom. May I introduce Professor Ron Robin. Professor Ron Robin is the 11th president of the University of Haifa Professor Robin is an expert in American history with a PhD in American history from the University of California in Berkeley. Professor Robin was a faculty member at the University of Haifa for over 20 years, during which he has held several official positions, including Dean of Students. In 2006, uh, Professor Robin joined NYU, where, amongst other things, he served as the vice provost and was responsible for establishing NYU international campuses at Abu Dhabi and Shanghai. Professor Robin is the author of six books and dozens of articles. He has published research on the political, cultural, and media aspects of the Cold War between the US and the USSR, and about politics and culture in the American academia. Under his leadership, the University of Haifa will focus on global interdisciplinary research in collaboration with leading international research institutions. The interdisciplinary approach allows the university to, de to develop varied areas of knowledge under the auspices of joint, innovative, and unexpected umbrellas, which will lead to breakthroughs. Professor Robin's previous roles at the university and his many years as a faculty member have provided him with an in-depth knowledge of the diverse university student community, 
a community that it is that is a mirror image of the Israeli society. The role of the university is therefore to provide its graduates with tools based on academic knowledge and critical thinking that will allow them to occupy leading position in Israeli society. Professor Robin, the podium is yours. Thank you very much, Asaf, for that generous introduction. Good evening, good morning to everyone. It's a great pleasure being here. We are actually uh, celebrating multiple events. We're first and foremost uh, celebrating a tradition, a long tradition already, of collaboration between UC San Diego and Haifa. We, we, we a couple of years ago, and I think it was 2015, we recognized uh, Dean Carol Padden for her role in, in, in joining the two universities together. Just as an example, I saw uh, Wendy Sandler a moment ago. Uh, uh, we have had collaborative work with her indigenous sign language lab over the years, and we're very grateful for that. We're also celebrating, as Asaf suggested, the mission of the university. Uh, we, uh, our strategic plan calls for moving from a university to, the, to a multiversity. By multiversity, we mean that we're no longer a city on a hill, uh, that we have multiple campuses throughout the north of Israel, that we seek multiple collaborations with strong institutions such as UC San Diego, uh, and also as a sub suggested, multiversity connotes our, 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 our human composition, both our faculty and our students come from a diverse group of, 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 of what the president of Israel calls tribes, a diverse group of people in the north, Jews, Muslims, Christians, Druze, all of these comprise the University of Haifa, and we are very proud of that. We are also extremely proud of our marine sciences, which is the signature project of the university, our school of marine sciences. And today we recognize in particular uh, marine archaeology, which is one of the strongest programs, I would say, on the face of the earth at this point. We are very proud of this program. We, uh, uh, I think we are vindicated by the fact that UC San Diego sees us as a partner, and we are grateful for the support of the Corette Foundation, for the support I've just heard of from Scenic, for making this dream actually come true. Uh, we are currently in Akko with marine archaeology, but I will uh, let you into a little secret. We intend to uh, engage in Akko in a much more comprehensive and broader fashion in the future and use this incredible city, not only as a site for our marine archaeology, but for other aspects of marine sciences uh, in general. And um, it's just exciting, it's an honor, and it's a great privilege to be here with you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to say a few words. Back to you, Asaf. Thank you so much, Professor Robin. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Professor Robin, for your very inspiring words. It's such a pleasure to have great partners. Well, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Professor Carol Padden. Carol has been on the faculty of the University of California, San Diego in the Department of Communications since 1983, when she earned her PhD from the university's Department of Linguistics. Padden holds the Sanford I. Berman Chair in Language and Human Communication. She served as Associate Dean and Faculty equity advisor in the Division of Social Sciences from 2008 to 2013. In 2014, Carol was tapped to be the Dean in the Social Science Division. As Dean, Padden leads a dy dynamic and highly ranked academic division spanning 11 academic departments and five interdisciplinary programs with student enrollments totaling over 100,000 in the last year. The division has over 10,800 majors, consisting of over 40,000 majors of 
the total population at UC San Diego. Among the most recent initiatives in the division are new majors in real estate and development, education, and climate change. Patton's areas of research include language emergence, sign language structure, and cultural life in deaf communities. With her husband, Professor Tom Humphreys, she is co-author of two textbooks on American Sign Languages and two books on deaf communities in the US. She is a fellow of the Linguistics Society of America and the American Academy of, for the Advancement of Science. In 2010, she received a MacArthur Fellowship. In 2015, Professor Padden received an honorary doctorate from the University of Haifa for her multiple research achievements with her Haifa colleagues, including a long-term study of deaf Bedouin communities in Israel's Negev Desert. Carol, will you please join us? Thank you, Tom, that was very generous. Um, I wanna thank, say thank you to everyone who joined us today. It's been a remarkable day seeing everyone, the, the scope of the, of the enterprise that is the, uh, the Swift Center of Marine Archaeology. I'm very pleased to be here to recognize our partnership with UC San Diego and University of Haifa with the generous involvement of the Koreff Foundation. As some of you know, I've had a long professional relationship with the University of Haifa. Over 20 years ago, I was invited to the university as a consultant on American Sign Language. While I was there, my Israeli colleague, Wendy Sandler, who's here today, suggested we visit a Bedouin village in the Negev, where they use their own distinct sign language. I remember my first visit to the village. We invited to have tea in the home of the head of one of the families in the village. It was a very hot day, but inside the home, it was cool with the cloth breeze coming in through the window and the door. Outside, outside the door was the great arbor. Our host spoke Hebrew and Arabic, and my colleague interpreted into sign language to me. But I watched around the room and I could see some of the people were signing with each other. The sign language looked different. And at that moment, I knew I was coming back to Israel. I didn't know much about the country, nor about Bedouin. But my visit to the village began a long and fruitful research project with my Israeli and American colleague on language evolution and how language is spontaneously created in the community of uses. Shortly after our first visit, we applied for support to study this unique language situation from the U.S. Israeli Binational Science Foundation, and then later from the United States uh, National Institute of Health. There is enormous depth of language history in Israel. Biblical languages, modern languages, and sign languages too. Israel is a living laboratory with a window into the long past of human history. Two summers ago, when I was in Israel working before the pandemic, Tom Levy, a longtime colleague of mine, invited me to visit the Swift Center for Marine Archaeology research site near Caesarea. So I suited up, went snorkeling, and I joined a group of archaeology faculty and students watching them mapping out the underwater section along the coast. In the clear, beautiful water of the Mediterranean, I have the same sense of wonder I've always had about this country. Where else in the world is there such richness of human history, of languages, of culture, of human migration, human commerce, the past, present, and the future of humanity all in one place? Let me congratulate all the efforts of the people here to make this field station in ARCO possible. I am your partner in all that you aspire to do. Thank you again for your support of our university. Thank you so much, Professor Padden, for your warm words. 
I cannot wait until you will join us again at the coast of Dore and to, to, to swim again in the Mediterranean. That was really a, a remarkable Any time, any time. Thank you so much. May I, and I would be very pleased to introduce Professor Doug Bartlett, Deputy Director for Research, Scripps, UC San Diego. Professor Douglas H. Bartlett received his PhD in Microbial Molecular Bio Biology at the University of Illinois in 1985. After several years as a postdoctoral scholar and research scientist at the Aguron Institute at La Jolla, he assumed a faculty position at Scripps Institute of, Institute of Oceanography, University of California, San Diego in 1989, where he now holds the rank of professor and Associate Vice Chancellor of Marine Sciences. Dr. Bartlett has extensive experience in analysis of extremophilic microbial life in the inner space of our oceans. His research group pursues studies of the adaptations that enable deep sea microbes to live at great pressures. Much of this work utilizes the tools of genetics, genomics, and functional genomics. The Bartlett Group has also developed new categories of ocean landers capable of collecting samples without decompression at Hadal depths. He is an elected member of the American Academy of Microbiology. Professor Bartlett, the podium is yours. Thank you, Professor Yasser Landau. Uh, and good evening, colleagues at the University of Haifa, and good morning, friends uh, at the University of California, San Diego. Uh, I really appreciate all of the poignant comments that my, um, my colleagues have, have made thus far. And I, I am delighted to add my congratulations to all of you who are involved in the establishment of this joint marine archeology span field station. By, by American standards, Scripps Institution of Oceanography, or SIO, is quite old. Indeed, it's among the oldest major marine institutions in the United States. Somehow that seems like a noteworthy comment for me to provide to, to you when we are discussing archaeology. Um, in terms of our ancient history, SIO began in 1903 as the Marine Biological Association of San Diego. And in 1912, we became a part of the University of California. During the 1940s, it was at Scripps where the science of wave predictions used in the Allied landings of World War II were developed. And during the 1960s, SIO became the nucleus for the creation of the University of California at San Diego. Today, Scripps is involved in a variety of fields of study including geology and geochemistry and geophysics, climate sciences, physical oceanography, ocean engineering, biological and chemical ocean oceanography, marine biology and marine biotechnology, and now marine archeology. span It consists of about 150 principal investigators along with 350 graduate students 800 undergraduate students in our majors and many other scientists and, and staff. We are spread over 38 buildings on our main uh, campus of 177 acres. We have a $281 million annual budget and operate four oceanographic vessels, a public aquarium museum, one of the largest research piers, and facilities for numerous aquaria, wave and aerosol plumes, engineering and ocean uh, instrument testing, uh, along with facilities needed for advanced methods in genomics and inorganic and organic chemical characterization. The Scripps Center for Marine Archaeology is a part of the entire UC San Diego mission of understanding and protecting the planet. After the initial establishment of this center, professors Tom Levy and John Hildebrand took on co-directing the center, as you have heard. The most successful outcome of their efforts so far has been securing the generous support of the aforementioned Corret Foundation based in San Francisco, 
which is facilitating the collaboration with the University of Haifa and Rekhanati and the exploration of the coastal environments of Israel and human adaptation to climate change over the past 11,000 years. There is a history of collaboration with Israeli institutions and scholars at SIO. For example, the recent SIO Paleomagnetic Laboratory under Professor Lisa Tox had two postdocs, Ron Shar and Erez Ben Yosef. Ron is now assistant professor at the Hebrew University and Erez recently became full professor at Tel Aviv University. Dr. Tali Tribitz did her postdoc with Professor Jules Jaffe in the Laboratory for Underwater Imaging at SIO. Tali is now an assistant professor and heads the Visian Marine Imaging Lab in the Department for Marine Technologies, Charney School of Marine Sciences at the University of Haifa. And currently, uh, Jalad Steinberg is a postdoc working closely with Professor Dick Norris and Tom Levy at the SCMA and the SAO Rock Collections Laboratory. Our strategic collaboration holds great promise and we deeply appreciate the partnership with Reconati's longtime experience in underwater archeology span and their generosity in sharing their knowledge with our faculty and students. We hope this will develop into a long-term relationship with more postdoc and graduate student exchanges and joint research expeditions and we support the even broader vision of enhanced research collaboration with Israel and countries around the Eastern Mediterranean. Again, on behalf of SIO, my congratulations to those of you who have made this collaboration and joint field station possible. Thank you so much, Doug, for those wonderful words. And it's a great entree to our film that we're gonna show now. It's a short film, so there's no need to break out the popcorn, folks. But this was uh, put together through the AV group at the Qualcomm Institute with Alex Matthews, Hector Bracco, and Ariel, Arieli Alvarez. And um, we're going to uh, start that just now. I'm going to share my screen and um, We'll get the show on the road. One second, and we'll just expand it for your viewing pleasure. And here we go.
This is our lab for diving equipment, photography gear, and some electronic devices. Here we are taking care of our diving equipment sets, all the scuba gear, annual checks, repairs, and things like this. The 
inauguration of this joint marine station heralds a new era in the scientific collaboration of UCSD and the University of Haifa. Both Scripps and the Reconati Institute for Marine Science are ready to launch a new type of expeditions, new types of marine adventures. <laughs> Great. Um, that was awesome. Um, can you, oh, can you guys see me? Good. Awesome. I have a nice view of Doug. Um, so, yeah, I, I do want to give a call out, a shout out for my grad student, Tony Tamburino, who did the awesome uh, drone photography and photogrammetry in that. And uh, thank you all for uh, helping to make this great film. So congratulations to all of us, and we anticipate to continue to work together. And finally, our last speaker this morning is Professor Abe Sofer for some concluding thoughts. Um, it's about our Coret US Israel bridge building program. And as was said, uh, Abraham Sofer is a board member of the Coret uh, Foundation. Abe and his wife, Marion Scheuer Sofer, are supporters of archaeology in Israel and elsewhere. Marion is the daughter of Richard and Joan Scheuer, and Abe and Marion enjoyed learning the richness of archaeology from the Scheuers, as well as the need for archaeological research on a global scale. Abe and Marion accumulated a collection of Holy Land ancient coins published by the American Numismatic Society and recently gifted, they recently gifted it to the American uh, Numismatic Society and the Israel Museum. Abe has been a professor of law, a federal judge, and a State Department legal advisor. He is the George P. Schultz Senior Fellow Emeritus at Stanford's Hoover Institution. As legal advisor of the Department, the US Department of State, in 1986, Abe was the principal negotiator in various interstate matters that were successfully resolved. And this included the dispute between Egypt and Israel over Taba in the Sinai Desert, and that established that solution established the final border between uh, Israel and Egypt and the conclusion of that successful peace treaty. Abe's first exposure to underwater archaeology was under the guidance of pioneer marine archaeologist Professor Avner Rabban of the University of Haifa, who we saw in the film. Abe and Marion continue to follow and support such activities. Abe Sofer is a member of the board of the Coret Foundation, which generally, generously supported the UC San Diego University of Haifa project that we've been discussing today. So I'm very pleased to welcome Abe to the virtual stage and I hand it over to you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Uh, and you've mentioned a number of things uh, that I would have mentioned uh, myself. The fact that um, I married the person who led me into my interest in uh, Holy Land archaeology and um, uh, Richard was indeed a, a good friend to all of us and a wonderful supporter of archaeology in the Middle East. Um, also, uh, Avner Rabban was a, a phenomenal fellow, um, a guy who really gets credit internationally for uh, creating 
the field of marine archaeology in a way. He was certainly one of the leading uh, uh, proponents of, of that. And uh, it is a very uh, exciting uh, thing to think of um, the marine world the way we think of space. It's really one of the great undiscovered aspects uh, of human civilization. And um, Asaf and Haifa have been um, the leading uh, developers of the field in the, um, in, in, uh, is not only in Israel, but internationally, following on from Avner's work and, um, and UCSD with scripts uh, have been uh, phenomenally uh, active and productive uh, in the general field of marine uh, work. So this was a marriage that was uh, uh, really felicitous. And uh, Caret, uh, once it heard that this opportunity existed, uh, realized that even though uh, UCSD is uh, not in our immediate range of uh, local uh, beneficiaries, we are, uh, uh, the University of California is really one of the main beneficiaries of our uh, gifts. And the fact that um, that Richard Atkinson is at UCSD was uh, pretty helpful at getting uh, at getting Corette interested in that. So we were we were thrilled really to have this project available, and Asaf uh, briefed us on it, uh, briefed us on the importance of this subject uh, over two years ago uh, when we spent. Um, uh, an entire day with him looking at Dor and, and other uh, archaeology uh, efforts that he makes. Asaf does a lot of things and he does them all brilliantly. So it's really great that he has teamed up with Tom to uh, create this wonderful project uh, under the leadership of, of Dean Padden and, and uh, Ron Robin. And my goodness, we, uh, we've got... Uh, great team and Corette is uh, delighted to have been part of, of this. And we look forward to uh, normality when um, the kids can all get back in the water and the leaders can uh, uh, continue their educational as well as their discovery efforts. So with um, great uh, pleasure, uh, and representing uh, what I think is a, a very fine uh, uh, foundation uh, that was fortunate to have such a wonderful project to support. Um, I uh, think that we should say hallelujah to this project and hope that it continues and del delivers uh, the uh, many benefits that we expect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abe, for your inspiring words. And I'd like to ask Asaf to close our wonderful event we've had this evening, this morning, with some uh, concluding thoughts. Asaf? Thank you very much, Tom. And thank you so much, Abe, for your warm words and um, indeed magnificent support for our, for our joint endeavor. Our collaboration or is as three phases. The first was, of course, needed before that, and that was the renovation of the Arco hunger that was done through the uh, many efforts of President Ron Robin that secured the resources needed. The second phase was with the Corette Foundation and the collaboration with, with Tom. We have now the funds to, uh, to acquire new equipment that will give us the scientific edge we needed for this collaboration. And I do hope that the third phase will be the establishment of a, nat of a national center for underwater archeology span in Israel. One of the things that we truly, truly need in this country. Tom and I envision a center planned to be located on the coast with direct access to the sea that will serve as a scientific hub in which they 
Israeli Antiquities Authority, the University of Haifa researchers, and of course, University of California, San Diego will work on their research projects together with international students and scholars, creating a thriving community of knowledge and strong synergic effects on scientific output. With the support of both our university to this project and the IA, especially with the leadership of Vice Director of the IA, Professor Guido Navni, I think this third phase can indeed become a reality. And then this can be a game changer in underwater archaeology in Israel and indeed the Mediterranean. In the meanwhile, I invite everybody to our marine station at Akko and to visit all our projects. Tom and I would like to thank the speakers, our colleagues and friends in the audience and everybody that have helped preparing this event in San Diego and in Haifa, especially Meir Edri and hope that very soon we can see you all swimming or diving with us in the warm waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Thank you so much and goodbye.